Uh, under example seven, we are going to learn how to factorize quadratic equations. And we all know from the previous uh, knowledge that a general quadratic expression is ax squared plus bx plus c. And uh, factorizing such kind of an expression, there are two steps which are very critical that we look for two factors when we multiply them they will give us ac when we add them they will give us a b so you can see what our b is whatever our b is and the product of a and c is ac so we're looking for two factors such that when we multiply them out they will give you the product of AC, and when you add them out, they will give you a sum equals to B. And uh, we will go straight to example 7, part A, whereby we are having x squared minus 5x minus 6. And in all aspects, this one qualifies to be a quadratic expression due to the fact that it has the highest power of 2. And therefore, our AC, our A is 1, C is negative 6. So our B and our AC, our B is minus 5, you can see it here. And our AC is 1 times negative 6, which is negative 6. And the two questions are, which two numbers do we multiply together? And they will give us a negative 6. And when we add them up, they will give us uh, a negative 5. Two numbers, when you multiply them out, they will give us a negative 6, and when we add them out, they will give us a negative 5. Hint, one of the number has to have positive sign, and the other one has to, has, uh, has to have a negative sign. And of course, due to the fact that we are going to be left with negative 5, when we add them out, it means that the bigger number has a negative sign. That means we might look at negative 6 plus 1 and negative 6 times 1. And this one gives us, of course, a minus 5, and this one gives us a negative 6. So after we identify the two terms, negative 6 and a positive 1, we pick them up and we use them to substitute the middle term or the term B we use them to substitute the middle term. And we write it this way, x squared minus 6x plus 1x minus 6. Having that, why do we substitute the middle term with the two terms? The reason why we do that is because, so that we are able to factorize two terms at a time. Two terms at a time. So in the first two, what is common? x is common. Inside the bracket, we have x minus 6. And then we have, of course, this uh, between x and a minus 6, there is a 1 which is common. And x divided by 1 is x. Negative 6 divided by 1 is negative 6. You realize that that bracket and that bracket have to be identical. And our final answer is that the outer terms, we write them just we, they make their own bracket and the repeated bracket is only written once and having done that then we have factorized that uh, expression completely if you look at part b uh, part b is talking of x squared uh, plus 6x plus 8 again the same approach we have b and we have AC. Our B is 6 and our AC is 8. Two numbers, when we multiply them out, they give you an 8. And when you add them up, they give you a 6. This is simple. It is 4 times 2 and 4 uh, plus, plus a 2. Again, we substitute the middle term with the two factors and we rewrite our expression x squared plus 4x plus 2x plus 8 meaning that the first two terms x is common x plus 4 plus the second two terms 
2 is common, x plus 4. And again, the outer terms form a bracket of their own, x plus 2, x plus 4. And we can already say that is completely factorized. What about part C? What is in part C? Let's see what is in part C. In part C, we have 6x squared minus 11x minus 10. Uh, this looks a bit complicated because A is 6. We can already have B and AC. Our B is minus 11. Our AC is minus 60. Again, one number has to be a negative, another one has to be a positive, such that a negative times a positive will have to give us a negative uh, product. And again, the number that is bearing the negative sign is bigger than the number that is bearing the, negative, the positive sign by 11. So this one, it goes without saying, we must be having, this is minus 15 plus 4, minus 15, minus 15 times 4. So we write it this way, 6x squared, um, we can even start plus 4x minus 15x minus 10. And between 6x and 4x, we have 2x, which is common. And then we have, uh, we have 3x there, uh, plus 2. Uh, between minus 15x and minus 10, we have minus 5, which is common. So negative 15x divided by minus 5 is 3x. Minus 10 divided by minus 5 is plus a 2. You can already see that that bracket repeats itself. So our final factorization is x minus 5 in a single bracket, 3x plus a 2 in another bracket. And that has been factorized. Let us look at part D. Let us look at part D, which is x squared minus 25. Ah, very good. We have been talking about difference of two squares, and this is a perfect example of difference of two squares, because how do we call it a difference of two squares? This is a square of x, and this is a square of 5. So the square of x minus the square of 5 is simply called the difference of two squares. So what do we do? Okay, we have the square root of x, which is x, and the square root of 5, 25, which is 5. We can have one bracket that way, and the same bracket is repeated with the opposite sign, which is plus, and that has been completely factorized. But um, there's a longer method which I will teach after I express Part E, there's a longer method, I will get back there. I will prove how we get there. But let us first of all look at part E, which is 4x squared, 4x squared minus 9y squared, 4x squared minus 9. Again, this is a difference of two squares because 4 has a square root, x squared has a square root, 9 has a square root, and y squared has a square root. Again, let's get the square root of the first term, which is 2x, minus the square root of the second term, which is 3y. Again, repeat the same thing, 2x plus 3y, now with a different sign. I want to get back here and show how, I can even use this, but I want to get back here and show how that one is realized, x squared minus 25. How do we get the two brackets and why do we call it difference between two squares? Of course, if you were to write this one, it's lacking, it's just lacking the middle term. It's lacking the bx. So we can rewrite it inserting the middle term with which is very empty. So x squared plus 0x minus 25. With that, we can have our b there and our ac there. So our b is 0, as you can see. Our ac is 1 times negative 5 minus 25. So which two numbers do we multiply? They give us negative 25, and we add, they give us uh, a zero. Of course, those two numbers are equal, only that they are holding an, an, uh, an opposite sign. So my, minus 5 plus 5, minus 5 times 5. Those are, the, those are the factors. So 
we substitute the middle term like we've been doing from part A all the way to part C, and we are going to have x squared minus 5x plus 5x minus 25. So x is common in the first two, so x minus 5 plus what is common in the last two, 5 is common in the last two. Inside the bracket, we have x minus 5. And this gives us the outer terms make a bracket of their own, uh, x plus 5. And then the repeated bracket is written just one. So you realize now what we have here are the two brackets which we had here. But this is now the longer version so that you don't ask how, how comes you directly get to these two brackets. You can see it after the longer version. So please take care of difference of two squares every other time you come across it. All right?